Yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed spring. It's about over. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. No. We get it one day at a time. This yeah, time well, of year. you know, and they'll start getting longer, and but it looks like it will cool down a little bit over the weekend. Although, really, uh, kind of seasonable temperatures for Saturday. The colder weather arriving as we roll on into Sunday. Let's go ahead and check out your evening forecast, and we will be looking, I think, at mostly clear skies at seven o'clock. A few high clouds floating around. Still seeing some sun, but the overall tendency through the evening will be a gradual increase in cloud cover. 56 degrees at 9 p.m. 50 at 11 o'clock after that high today, all the way up to 67 degrees. Not quite as warm in the northern part of the state. Actually, there's about a 30 degree spread. We'll show you that a little bit uh, uh, later here in the weather cast. 40 degrees tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, 48 degrees at noon, 47 at 5. So it won't be as warm tomorrow, but still expecting to see partly to mostly sunny skies. Afternoon readings tomorrow up around 50 degrees for us, low 50 south, but only in the mid 40s as you go into the northern part of the Miami Valley. Tonight, live Doppler 2 HD is dry. We have been tracking a little area of rain and snow that moved across the northern part of the state this morning. That's all the way out into Pennsylvania now. And then notice a couple of showers trying to get going out across Illinois. Well, that's with our next cold front that will swing in. And between about midnight and 7 o'clock, we could see a couple of those spotty showers here in the Dayton area. Our time lapse over in Eaton at the Provo County Sheriff's Office, our Storm Team 2 weather camera, just showing a little bit of those high level clouds moving in, uh, still not completely blocking out the sun. And a big spread in temperatures. We saw readings this morning, mid and upper 30s for the overnight lows, but look at where those readings are tonight. 69 in Troy, 66 Springfield, Beaver Creek over to Eaton, so a nice evening out there. Still sitting at 67 at Dayton International Airport, the high for the day, a south-southwest wind at 9 miles an hour. 36 that low this morning at the airport with that high at 67, and it was just a couple of years ago, another record high in 2012 at 86 degrees. Temperatures tonight, 61 in Bell Fountain, so there's a little bit of that cooler air to the north, but you can see a a lot of mid and upper 60s over the rest of the Channel 2 viewing area. But as you head into northern Ohio, only 51 at Mansfield and even 30s up along the Lake Erie shoreline, while readings are approaching 70 degrees along the Ohio River. So about a 35 degree spread there across the Buckeye State tonight. Our future track forecast model will show at least some of those clouds moving back in tonight with a couple of patches of green indicating the chance for a couple of those spotty showers. But otherwise, tomorrow we get back to the partly cloudy skies. A little bit cooler than the readings today, which were up into the 60s as we drop back into the 50s for highs, and we're expecting dry weather through the weekend. Late night, we'll head down to about 40 degrees. There is that chance of a shower after midnight, and then tomorrow, I think by sunrise, it looks like that shower chance off to the east of us. We'll start off, I think, even with mostly sunny skies for a little while tomorrow morning, and then partly sunny in the afternoon, breezy and cooler with a high near 50 degrees, 45 at 10 o'clock, 48 degrees at noon, 50 at 2 p.m., and then we'll quickly drop off to 40 degrees at 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. Your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast 23 Sunday morning with a high of 38. And then upper 30s again on Monday with lows in the upper teens. There is a chance of some snow on Tuesday, so don't count old man winter out just yet.